What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Quillo Talk Live. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. We got another update. It's my reaction video on this old polite situation right now. Now, polite sitting up there saying DNA don't lie, but people do. They got the DNA. Polite sitting up there saying that the, the case, the four serious charges he had was dropped. No, he wasn't. He still had two to add on four. He has six additional charges. He has six additional charges. I want you to sit back. He going to sit, get your popcorn, get your popcorn. Real arrogant, dude. But get your 40s. Because it's going to be rest in peace in a minute. But y'all sit back, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, hit that black bell. Let me know what y'all think. One love, J. Quill, all talk loud. We out. So again, the two worst charges have been reduced. The narrative, that means the narrative has to change. But Negroes like DNA don't lie. But what the um, Your Honor, on this case, we do have DNA showing that the defendant's sperm was on the victim's clothing. Your Honor, man. But what they forget to tell you is people do. I told you guys, get your popcorn, right? Lying will ruin your goddamn life. Now, people, it's my reaction to Brother Polite. This is court case. He said, get your popcorn. I want y'all to get your old school 40 out. Go get your old school 40 or English. Sit back and listen to this court hearing. Listen, get your 40s. Let's go. Good morning, Judge. Good morning. Uh, Your Honor, I'm Brother Polite. Uh, the, so what happened in this case, Your Honor, is that this is a media case. Um, he was arrested for punishable by life crimes. He should have been held no bond. However, um, this is one of those charges where the PBL comes in at the very end of the charge. And I think the clerk's office made an error, allowed him to bond out prior to seeing a bond appearance or prior to going to bond hearing. Um, somehow, I think he was given standard bond of $21,000, $10,000 on count one and count two, and then 1,000 on count three, judge. Um, uh, my issue, judge, is that there's no stay-away order on the case yet. Uh, that's why, Your Honor, okay, right. asked the defendant to be present. I also am very concerned that the defendant has been essentially terrorizing the victim. I mean, the victim's 14 years old, and uh, there's since, been a lot since, of... Since being, since the arrest? Since the arrest, judge. He's been very communicative on, uh, he's been very vocal on social media, on, uh, there's been videos of the victim drugged by this defendant leaked online um your honor on this case we do have dna showing that the defendant's sperm was on the victim's clothing your honor may i ask why any of this is appropriate considering no motion has been filed yeah that's that, that's the thing i i i don't like being ambushed with with all of this this is nor do fact, i your this, honor this is entirely inappropriate if, if in fact the state was seeking a, a motion for pretrial detention they should have done it i mean well, um, judge, now, as far I, as I'm the stay away order is concerned i can certainly do that um but i just can't go ahead with allegations from the state um without giving notice to the defense i mean certainly i would hear it but i i can't do this in a vacuum like this so the only thing that i know that this was reset for which was advised to me the last time is that the stay away order was not properly presented and i'm i'm ready and able to do that at this time judge i you are the first appearance judge regarding the information that was filed judge he was charged with a total of um, six counts, Judge, and uh, they're different. They're all different from the charges. Except for Again, one. Your Honor, excuse they're me, I have to interrupt. This is not Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mr. Terrace, hold on. Let, to, Terrace, hold on. let her finish. Just let her finish. I'll allow you to make your argument. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. He has been charged with six counts. One of them is the same, but there's uh, five additional counts, Your Honor. So Your Honor does have to set bond on those counts. Um, so, and, and then the stay away has to be set. I will be filing a motion to increase bond. Um, and I understand that Your Honor does not want to be ambushed. I will file that at a later time, but I did want to put the court on notice that uh, uh, with regards to the other bond amounts that need to be set, Judge. All right. So we still do, we do, we definitely have to address bond. Okay. Now, did you have a response, Mr. Taurus, and then I will uh, deal with the information? Yes, Your Honor. We, we, we don't, we don't, there's, there is no motion pending before the court. Uh, the state, uh, no one, our side certainly did not ask uh, for a schedule bond. That was something that the state of Florida decided to place on this case. Those charges were higher charges, and they were downfiled. 
Um, doesn't matter that there was more charges that were listed on the information. These are down file charges. Mr. Nowak is out on constitutional bond. There's no motion pending before this court, uh, and there's no need for Ms. Garcia to just ambush us uh, with additional information that she feels uh, the court and the media in her uh, speak should hear. So we are entirely prepared to address a motion that's before us. Not another word needs to be said regarding a motion that's not pending before this court. We do and are prepared to address the no contact situation today. Okay. Now, first things first. First thing I have is I have an, um, an information that's been given to me by the clerk uh, that was filed on September 14th, which was three days ago. And again, I have many cases on my calendar. Has this defendant been arraigned on this information? He has, Your Honor. He has, Judge. He has. Okay, so he has been arraigned. And I am looking at there are a total of six counts. I, at this point, do not see that there are any non-bondable offenses. Um, and there appears to be a second-degree felony for count one, second-degree felony count two, three is also second-degree, four, second-degree, five is a first-degree misdemeanor, and six is a third-degree felony. So um, have all of the bonds been addressed at the time of the arraignment? No, Judge. No, Your Honor. Okay. Well, that's what we need to do as far as that is concerned. Um, and I will... What, what was he out on previously? I did, let, let's just start with that. He was out on count one and count two for $10,000 each. And then count three on the information was a misdemeanor, so that was 1000 So right now he has a total of $21,000 bond. Okay, so one and two. So what was added in the information? So um, the counts one through... Counts one through four are all second degree felonies. Those were not on the information on the. They were not originally file. charged. Correct. Also, Judge Count six is interference of custody. That one also was not charged. Count five was charged as uh, count number three on the arrest form. So that one should stay at thousand dollars. So then what was the original 10,000, if you're saying that one through four was not charged and then six was not charged, then what was the original charges where he got the two $10,000 uh, and then $1,000? So the original charges was count one was engaging in sexual activity with a child and familiar custodial authority. That was actually a PBL, but um, that charge, when it's input into the arrest form, it looks like an F1. So on that count, he was given 10,000. Then on count two, it's sexual battery of a victim 12 to 17 years of age. That's an F1. That was another $10,000 bond. And then count three is count five on the information. Okay. All right. So as it relates to the new information, the court is going to, on count one, the defendant will be... Um, given a bond of ten thousand dollars on count two defendant will be given a bond of ten thousand dollars on count three defendant will be given a bond of ten thousand dollars on count four defendant will be given a bond of ten thousand dollars on count Five, that will be a $1,000, and count six will be $5,000 bond. All right, does Corrections have that? Well, all right, Clerks have that as well? Yeah, I have it there. Okay. So he is going to need to post those uh, additional amounts. If it was 21000 originally, it's now going to be... $46,000 additional bond. That's as to that issue. Anything further on that issue? And then we're going to get to the stay away order. So, Judge, I do think it's important to note that he is a California resident. So I would ask that Your Honor uh, consider that when setting the bonds. Are these standard bonds, Judge? Um, I do not know what is considered a standard bond on these, but these are the bonds that the court's going to be giving. Okay. Um, so, no, Judge, I'll be filing a motion to increase bond due to the facts of the case. 
Uh, the other, in addition to the bond judge, it's just a stay away order I think that we need to address today. Understood. All right, anything further from the defense as to the bonds for right now? Your Honor, I don't see that the state has laid any grounds for why the bond uh, amount should be increased. We believe well, we're not that. there yet. We're not there yet. I'm not, there's no, no discussion right now. That's not what's before the court. The court just is setting bonds on the new counts. These counts are down file. I just want to make that clear from the record, even though there's more of them. Understood. Um, so the entire, but we would object to the entire bond amount increasing, considering these are down file charges. Okay. Um, your, your objection um, is other, noted. Other now, than that, other than that, no, Your Honor. All right. As it relates to the stay away order, um, okay. So apparently these are uh, minors. Well, I can have the defendant sworn. Mr. Noah, can you unmute yourself? Yes. Raise your right hand. Do you swear from the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay, sir, you can put your arm down. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Michael Eugene Note Jr., born August 10th, 1983. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so you are currently charged under case F21-14438. Um, with several counts involving a minor victim. Uh, and the minor victim is identified as T, like Thomas, S, like Sam. Do you know who that is? Yes. All right. You, uh, sir, you are ordered that you can have no contact with TS. And when I say no contact, that means no direct contact or indirect contact. Indirect contact includes you cannot uh, communicate with this individual via social media, you cannot call, you cannot text, you cannot reach out to this individual or in some way uh, attempt to communicate through a third person. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, I do. All right. Now, um, I will just advise you and admonish you this means what it says. I do not know whether or not you were given any type of a stay away order but as of right now this stay away order is in effect in that if you violate any terms of this stay away order that may be grounds for your bond status your pretrial release status to be revoked and you will be immediately taken into custody do you understand that sir yes i do okay anything further on that issue from the state no your honor anything further from that issue from the defense no your honor all right, that is all that the court has before me. Um, are, are we done, Ms. Garcia? I believe so, Judge. I just want to—I just want the defendant to be aware that he should not be posting any um, social media posts or anything about this case, about the victim in this case. I know that there was a uh, video of the victim leaked on social media. I'm concerned about the victim's, you know, well-being regarding this case. So I just want to make sure. The defendant's well aware that if that happens, you know, we will be filing the appropriate motions to avoid that from happening. All right. Well, yeah, just, just so it's clear. Yeah, just so it's clear. I just want I just want both sides to know allegations are allegations. I certainly uh, will uh, respond to uh, some type of uh, evidence shown to the court that the defendant has somehow violated the court's order. Now, let me hear from the defense. Judge, I just want to make clear for the record as well that this this arrest, Mr. Nowak has been compliant and has known about this investigation um, for far before his arrest has come down and voluntarily submitted two warrants along the way because he has nothing to hide. Any allegations that the state is making about their fear that he might have been tampering or attempting to scare the alleged victim via social media, there's no order saying that he is not allowed to use social media. And I also would like to make clear that it took the state till 4.56 p.m. on the night before the arraignment uh, to file an information here and a reduced one. They had, if they were so scared, they had ample opportunity to file a motion in the meanwhile, and they failed to do so. So I, I don't believe that your honor has taken into consideration uh, any of the arguments that they've put forth regarding why they believe bond should be increased because that's inappropriate. We're, we're not there. I'm not even, I'm not even entertaining it. So let's not even, I don't even want to hear anything about it because nothing's before me as to an increase. Well, your honor, your honor has the ability to set the additional counts at ROR. Well, um, I'm not, I can tell you I'm not I, based upon now, based upon the only thing I have in front of me is an information. That's what I've decided uh, as far as the bond is concerned. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. 
Well, we would object to your honor taking into consideration any of the statements made by Ms. Garcia in reaching that determination. Okay. Now, uh, however, I do need to uh, just advise um, Mr. Nowak, based upon some of the arguments, I don't know what has is out there uh, that has been posted, but I will um, advise Mr. Nowak that if, in fact, there is evidence shown to the court that you have somehow been responsible for submitting some type of social media involving this uh, victim, uh, you may have a First Amendment right, but it is it is limited. And if the state can show that this was done with some type of intent to either harass or intimidate a witness, um, that's serious. So just keep that in mind. You certainly have a First Amendment right, but if you if you do something that in somehow is intended to intimidate this witness. Um, then the court will uh, listen to you know what the allegations are and what evidence the state has presented. I think that can be the last word on this matter. Do we? I have a December third report date. No, what is that on for? I believe that was just for the status, your honor, case disposition, regular. Okay. Course. Perfect. All right. As of right now, that's the the uh, next date that we have on this case. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, Thank you, your honor. Care. All right. Bye bye.